Hello everyone, Epi Eclipse here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the new drop shot update and a lot of things that are to come with it, some things that you would have missed, and there's some hidden things in the drop shot footage that you may have not seen, so I'm here to point that out to you and explain to you basically what this update is. So, I haven't made a video in a while, that's because I've been sick, as I told you in the last video, as you could probably hear as I sound a lot better, not fully better, but getting there. But we're going to be coming out with a couple consecutive videos here. Um, this one is going to be about just the drop shot update in general. The next one will be about the rank season four, how it's going to work. Because I read um, they just released an article recently on it, read through the whole article. And the last one will be about how the actual game of drop shot works to my knowledge and what I've found out about it. Because I found some pretty decent things that kind of explains it, but we don't know fully about how it works. But to get into the first video of this little spree, um, we're going to be talking about the new update in general, uh, the new crate, and the new maps and some hidden things. So if you haven't looked over the notes at all and all you've seen is the drop shot video trailer that they have, you wouldn't really know anything about the new crate. But there is a new crate and it is not part of the champion series it is not cc5 it is called the turbo crate which i think to follow up with kind of how the new updates going it's going to be more of a high tech crate and um they give us a little sneak preview as per usual of some things um so we'll go through that uh basically what we get to see is the rare, very rare import. They kind of gave us the three imports, I believe. Not, We're not totally sure that it's the three imports. It could be two imports, but we at least know two. And an exotic. Um, so first, the first rare is called the Suji. Um, it's just kind of writing. It doesn't really show as much in how it looks or anything. The second, very rare, is a trail, and it's called Xeno Splash. And this kind of looks like... Um, so, sort of like a slimy trail, but it looks kind of high-tech. Really can't tell you. We haven't seen anything about it. It's not in the trailer at all, so it's kind of hard to tell what it's going to look like, actually. And don't know if it's going to be painted, or I'm assuming the rare decals will be painted as well, because they started doing it, so I figured why would they stop it. But for the first import that they show us is a paint, which is something completely different, but I really like that they kind of bring this into it. It's called furry paint. Now, I'm kind of intrigued to see what it's going to do to your car, whether it's going to make it actually kind of have a flow of fur on it, so you'd really kind of see it and look really nice, or if it's just going to be uh, like a kind of a matte fur on the car. But we'll see how that comes out. For the next uh, import that we know is the brand new import car, which I'm very excited for. It is brand new. It's called the Endo. Um, it kind of looks like... The Lamb a Lamborghini, as you guys can see, it's um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really excited to get this. And something that's pretty cool about the Endo is you can actually get it painted. So the trims that I can show you now um, are painted in different colors. And now while we're talking about the trims painted in these same pictures, is the last import, which is called the uh, it's I think it's the Tycoon Cheryl, I believe that's how you say it. And you can kind of see it there. Um, but I'll talk to you more about the Tycoon, you can see it in the video, as well as the car. Um, but the Tycoon trail you can also get painted. So here you can see the painted Tycoon and the painted um, import car, which are both pretty cool. We don't know exactly what color the normal Tycoon trail will be, but we'll find that out soon enough. So another big announcement is there will be a new mystery decal, which is amazing. I was really hoping they were going to do it, and I figured they were. So I don't know if it'll be one or two, but we'll find out, and there's no way of seeing it. They never release it into the actual day of the crate opening. But as you guys know, when this crate drops, I will have a video up probably within an hour and a half of about probably 20 crates or so. I usually try to get around the first video out, because why not? Um, but that's pretty cool, um, and we'll come back to the import stuff, because we'll talk about the actual drop shot trailer, and I'll try to put in some screenshots if I can get some good ones. But I will at least give you the timestamps of all the things that you would be able to see inside the video and also in the link you'll in the uh, description you'll see the link to where I'm getting all this information from too as well but uh, we'll talk about the new maps um, there is Cove 707 and this is basically the new drop shot map that you guys probably have seen and then there is also Manafield Knight 
So this is really good. It's just normal mana field, but they made a night variant to it, which is very exciting because I know a lot of people that like darker maps more than light maps. So this is very good for them. They're throwing mana field into the whole normal rank um, wheel that you can get, which is pretty good. Um, really isn't much different. Um, so the next thing that I want to talk about is it's kind of interesting that I haven't actually seen anyone mention this yet but if you read through the article it's all the way at the bottom it's um, also in this update and it says new achievements and trophies and I clicked on it just to figure to read it to see what it said but I have a feeling that these new achievements and trophies might actually do something for you or give you something the way they say it what I will quote it here is seek out all six new season rewards on the platform of your choice try to collect the full set that's really a, an interesting way to say it if you weren't to get something from it. You know what I mean? It's It kind of seems like from this you'll get something, but never too sure. So we will just have to see. But in other words, something else that they're adding to the game, which is also just two little features that are really been requested, to be honest, and I'm glad they're uh, adding... Well, the one feature is in re uh, in spectator camera, you'll be able to see the boost and the uh, rumble timer, and the boost um, the boost gauge obviously when you're viewing a player, which I think is very cool. And I know how much we want that. I'm sure they're gonna add this to replays, but they didn't say they were. But I really hope they do. And then the second thing is going to be for the RLCS. They're gonna have a little thing that says live now, so you can go and check on. RLCS if you didn't know it was playing but um, basically we're gonna move on to the hidden things in the video that you will actually be able to see with these timestamps and again I will try to put them but you get a very good sneak peek as the new input car the new boost in painted colors and also you get to see all four new wheels, which I think they put this hidden in there so someone could see it and you guys could get a little sneak peek of it. Now, honestly, I wasn't very excited for these wheels until I just saw them. They actually look really cool and I'm really excited for them. So at least, I don't know about the challenger and the prospect, but the star wheel, I, I think it personally looks really cool too. So for the first time stamp, which I'll try to put up here if I can get it, is 24 sorry 24 seconds into the video um, you can see that is the pink tycoon trail and it's being used by um, I forget what car it was being used by but it's not being used by the import car um, it's I don't remember but um, so that's the tycoon boost painted in pink which is pretty cool and then if you go over to 26 and you freeze it nice you'll be able to see that I believe it's a Dominus GT has champion wheels on which if you if you stop it perfectly uh, you should be able to see it perfectly and if I have it up on screen you'll be able to see it right now and then at 36 you get to see the new um, endo car with a decal that I'm assuming is uh, one of the endo decals which is pretty cool so you get to see that as well um, and then at 41 you get to see the prospect wheels 42, you get to see the Rising Star wheels, which I think are personally really cool. And all the way at 46, you get to see the Challenger wheels. And I think there's a couple more image, like you get to see the new car a little bit more and the new trail a little bit more in there as well. So if you just watch the video carefully, you'll be able to see all these things. But I figured I'd give you some timestamps and hopefully I can put the images up on the video. But that's basically it for the new drop shot update in general. Next, I'll be going over how the new ranking system is going to work, how it's weighted and stuff like that, and just how you're going to be ranked out of the new season, because they're not doing the same as last season, doing a complete reset, which I'm kind of happy about. And they are scoring things a little differently. So I'll let you guys know about that in the next video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video about the drop shot update and everything that's coming out. I'm really excited to open these new crates and see what we can get. We're going to do a whole bunch of them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.